It is Friday, December 21st, and we're looking at some miserable, miserable, miserable times for almost everyone. Our three month performance is pretty bad, down 8.52% now, had huge losses in the last few days. Still beating the market by a little bit in the last three months, but really bad. Yearly performance also really bad, 6.75% down. You can see this huge sharp drop off here. Um, I've rearranged my stocks to show Apple up top because I'm going to be trading it a little bit more actively now. So what's going on here? Are the markets going to keep falling? Well, the Federal Reserve came out and announced the rate hike, which um, was a little bit, I guess, more than people were expecting. They were expecting at least there to be some kind of reassurance that they're going to get the markets back, but that wasn't the case. So the market kept on selling today uh, on Friday. There's a few things that I did with my portfolio. I added like two thousand more dollars, and because mainly because I didn't want to get dropped off in value so much that I couldn't uh, upgrade my gold account. And this is something that I did. I upgraded my gold account, but I also bought like one share of Apple at 153. Uh, I bought one share of Spotify at 106. Bought a few shares of IGD at 572. Um, just little tiny small moves. But the big move that I did was they sold an Apple put at 148. It's going to expire next Friday. And we'll see if that holds. So far, not a very pleasant um, movement. But if it does, just one of these options will be able to pay for my gold, uh, Robinhood gold fee of $125 per month. So I'm hoping that this actually persists here. Otherwise, I'll be on the hook for that one, $125. So that was the biggest move. Actually, let's go back here to the history. I'm collecting a few dividends. Here's my deposits. Oh, excuse me, $2,300. Is the market buys. And here's all the expirations that happened uh, this Friday today. So I was forced to buy RSX, which is the Russia fund at 19.5. It's like below 19 now. So I'm taking a little bit of a loss here. Um, a switch call expired. SIG call assignment to sell 300 shares of SIG at 2.5. Executed. West, uh, wheat and precious metals expired. Um, energy fuels at 2.5 expired. Chemical $10 put expired. And C-SPAN, call sell, sell, um, call sell option expired. So all these expirations is good. as money in my pocket. But I did get forced to buy this uh, Russian fund, which kind of makes up for all these um, wins, this one loss. But we'll see. I don't mind holding that fund because I'm really uh, bullish on Russia at the moment. And um, so that's what's going on with the account. Where is it going from here? Well, I think that we're almost at the end of the selling wave, um, if not already there, maybe another couple sell days. I don't think it's going to drop any further than that on this ter on this move. I think there we're going to be having a rebound in the broader markets here. Let's see if we can Dow Jones Industrial Average. I don't know where we would look, but let's just go to SPY. So you can see here, I think that um, this this is a real sharp sell off here. Maybe another couple of days, but it's hitting some um, channel resistance. So it's probably going to bounce off there. Even if it's going to continue to go down, it's going to it's going to have a bounce. Nothing moves in a straight line like that. So um. It'll give me a chance to hopefully Apple bounces with it in order, and I'll be able to have my um, option expire and so I can collect some premium. And um, you can see over here I have $9,700 to play with that I can sell options 
with and but the value of my account didn't really increase right because this this is debt I'm basically in debt debt at the moment and I have assets as um, collateral up uh, stocks as collateral for it or options contracts so that's what's going on I have the thirty thousand um, dollar account gold account now and hopefully one day I'll break to upgrade to fifty thousand um, well I wanted to do it a little bit later when the market crashes more but I think this is sufficient I want to take advantage of um, any possible rebound so you know I decided to make the move now whether that's good or bad we'll we'll figure that out obviously pretty soon <laughs> in a week or two if I start if I continue to start continue to lose money but that's what's going on as of now uh, you can see the options list is very short because we had a bunch of expirations but um, I'm gonna go back into selling um, puts for Cameco which has been a winning really winning trade for me and I've made some money doing that so far but not enough to stave off these huge losses man look at this one-year chart it's abysmal and now for the first time ever I am negative and all time on this account look at this boom what a hit huh what a hit it's incredible incredible now here's what I am looking forward to though is I'm looking forward to a big spike up in silver and hopefully uh, drags EXK a lot higher and I am looking forward to it because my belief is that the, the way the dynamics work is that um, after a big crash in the market, commodities are, do get drowned. All right, let's see. Commodities do get drowned, da uh, dragged down with the market and once commodities drop down in price enough, some of the production comes off, some of the metals production comes off, and silver is usually a byproduct of that metal production. Therefore, the supply of silver gets limited, and now if the demand is consistent, then that creates an imbalance which pushes the price up to make up for it and incentivize new production. So, I hope you cut all that. So, this makes me really bullish on silver in the beginning of next year. And I may put my mouth where my money where my mouth is. Actually, Robin Hood's money where my mouth is. <laughs> and I make an even bigger bet on silver than I already have in the coming month or two. And that's the plan, guys. That's the plan. So I'm going to keep selling options on Apple, Cameco, and making a bet on silver. And you know what I'm, else I'm looking at? This company. BlackRock, BlackRock, you know, their stats are really good. I looked at their numbers. Um, this, I'm not recommending it, of course. You should never buy or sell anything based on what you see here. As you can see, my old time earnings are negative, so you shouldn't be listening to my advice to begin with. But I'm just sharing what I'm thinking in case you want to know. Um, BlackRock said I have almost 600, and now it's at 369. Um, it had a nice move in the last few years last year has been has been going down pretty hard but it's I think it's a really good uh, you know financial company you know they have investments they do risk management advisory and all kinds of you know banky things they're kind of like a Goldman Sachs um, they're one of the firms that came in in 2008 and just bought up all the houses and um, they've been riding this wave up in the housing market ever since then so I think they know what they're doing they have a lot of money and um, I think it would be a smart idea the P ratio is ten and a half uh, they don't have too many employees they have a 59 billion dollar market cap been around for a long time and uh, they have even pay a dividend so I'm liking this company it's really expensive for me to try to play options with I would need like 
$37,000 free cash, which I don't just to, you know, sell one contract. But um, I may just buy a few stocks. I may just do that if it drops, if it's already low enough. So I'm thinking of buying some stocks. So those are the moves that I've been thinking. Big move in silver, selling options on Apple because, you know, it's probably near some kind of a bottom. It kind of moves the market. It is the market. And um, thinking of also BlackRock and trying to ride that move in silver. It's coming up next year. All right. I think I'll leave you at that. I um, hope no one is depressed. It happens. Market drops. That's what's up. I'm not a long-term bull um, bull or bear on the market. I think it's for the next 10 years, it's going to be stay relatively flat. So I'm trying to make money around that fact. I don't have a huge uh, short position. As you can see, most of my positions are bulls. Uh, but, you know, I just have a tiny short position, which I'm going to be selling pretty soon, actually. Um, it's SH. It's just like $650. I'm going to be selling them pretty soon and putting them towards my options play. And I'm going to have no shorts whatsoever because my biggest understanding, my biggest bet is that, you know, the, um, the banksters, is going to, they're going to just flood everything with money. The Fed and their arms are just going to, you know, open up the spigots and it's going to increase the value of all the assets even further. So... I'm not looking for like 2008 50% retracement. Um, I think 30% is probably the most we're going to get out of this specific move. We're already at 20, so maybe we got another maximum of 10% to go. And it's going to be a quick bounce up to at least halfway through in the beginning of next year. That's my guess. All right. That's, that's my view. That's my hypothesis. These are the moves that I'm predicting. Let's see if I can finally make some money, huh? All right, that's it for now. Peace out.